Welcome back, Vault and Dwellers. It is War Star 93, and today we got the Legendary Run. I'm explaining to you guys what that is. So, you got Season 1, has just begun, which is yesterday. You're in the score, you rank up, you claim all your rewards. You reach Dr. Zarbo, which is, I guess, the enemy wizard, across the galaxy and claim tons of rewards along the way in the first 10 season, the week season, the legendary run. You go to the main, which is here, the legendary run. It's like a board game, it's really cool looking. At first I didn't understand it yesterday until I've been doing stuff. Start here, you can claim your rewards, I won't claim it until about Friday. Hopefully I can complete this area and catch up. This is Dr. Zarbo, and this is where I'm at right now. And yes, I have been playing all night. Since about 2 a.m. Just to try to get like up here or something to get close to this dude. Chapter 1, Mothman of Mars. So. Since it's like a board game, and there's different seasons, these are your rewards that you can get. Atoms, caps, armor, weapons. I think one of my favorites is stars, wallpaper. Flying saucer legendary reward. I got a couple of those lunch boxes. Gilly backpacks. The where's it at? Gold bullion. I don't know where to find those all over, you know, Fallout. But here you can get a whole bunch. And over here you can get like a hundred or something. Fifty. And if you cross over more, it's fifty. I don't know. You can get a whole bunch of this cool stuff. I think season two should be better. I don't know what's gonna happen. But how to play this game? So you can join public teams that are available, which is in the option area. And you view the teams. Go to, where's it? They're usually... Okay, public teams. You can create your own team. You can join events, which if you team up with people, you get 25% XP for completing events. Bonds, 50, 75, 100 XP. Bonded for over time while playing with teammates on public teams, your bonds will reset if you leave the, the world. There's another event, casual. I don't know what casual is. But I've been playing the events because you get more XP, you level up faster. But uh, you pretty much go into your dailies and weeklies, and you can see the scores that you can get. I'm really close to leveling up. So you every day's different. You can build or floor, wall decorations at a workshop or camp, collect water, complete all events, alone or with a group. Gold star challenge. I don't even know what that is, but I'll do it. Just to score up, kill a legendary, level up again, and I don't play that. And in here, repeatable, everything's like literally repeatable and you gain a lot of XP doing everything either killing enemy doing events idling walking around fallout farming everything's repeatable and yes you get score and you get a lot of xp and you get to what's it called level up faster otherwise 
that's only the daily and the weeklies. But how I did yesterday, I kind of figured it out. I just joined the team and went to all the events. Some of the events are worth it, some of them are not. Like you breach and clear is not the great. This is, this is a bit, but all the main really good events is like, One of my favorites, the Voltaic Agricultural Research Center. You get treasury notes. Mama Delta's food processing is a really good one. Uh, Morgantown Airport, the Little Scorch event. Over here at the, where is that? Pioneer Scout Camp, there's a, I guess you could do the pickup arrow, but the main events are the good ones. Job break, the Mothman Lighthouse. That's pretty much all I did. It was like repeating. I guess if you can go over here to like a Scorch event, I don't know. We did get a lot of the treasure notes. Where is it? Here. Arctos Pharma. That was a really good one. You get a lot of XP, you know, you're defending animals, you're fighting against creatures. You're, half the server went there. And I believe... I think the... Scorch Beast? Not Scorch Beast. Sheep squash and the campground is the best. Otherwise, these little events may not be worth it. The messenger, a bit. But what I listed, mostly all the main big events are the best ones. And everything is repeatable. You repeat this within a day, you come back tomorrow different challenges you score up and then you move on the legendary run you move up and then you can claim your rewards and then hopefully you can keep up with Dr. Zorbo or not hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial video on how to play the legendary run and hopefully on Friday we can unlock all the sections and go to the next chapter.